Hi, this is Rich and welcome to Wings, Wheels and Wires. If my BMW i3 were to get totaled today, what vehicle would I pick? Until recently, I would have said another i3. I could pick up a newer sport version with better range and performance while keeping everything else I love about the vehicle. I could pick it up for under 25,000 and with the federal tax credit, knock another 4,000 off the price. Awesome. But today that might've changed. Tesla has a new offering, and I gotta admit, it's pretty tempting. So I guess we gotta talk about that right now. Sound the alarm. I'm coming, I'm coming up. We'll have the ball. So let me start with where I am with Tesla overall. They have some of the best EV tech out there. Uh, Lucid might have them beat in some areas, but with a starting price of over $70,000, they're not even a consideration for me. Tesla's software is awesome, and their supercharger network, while not cheap, is second to none. On the minus side, there's the build quality. While they have improved it over the years, there's still a lot of complaints about it. And for me, I'm not a fan of the minimalist design and lack of physical controls. I know the Tesla fans out there will tell me that I can get used to those controls, but what I can get used to and what I prefer are not the same, and I prefer actually having controls I can touch and reach out for. So I give you this information to understand that I am neither a Tesla hater, nor am I a Tesla fanboy. This is important because if my i3 were to get totaled today, I think it would probably get replaced with the newest Tesla Model 3 that was just released now in July 2024. I think it's important right now to give a brief history of the vehicle. The Tesla Model 3 was originally released in 2017. And to be honest, I was not a fan of the look of the vehicle, particularly the front bumper that looks like a duck bill. Now, that said, luckily, they did a refresh codenamed Project Highland in late 2023, giving it a much better look. It also had the improvements of ambient lighting, a backseat screen, Unfortunately, it also had a downgrade in the form of the removal of the stocks. The Model 3 lost a lot of its thunder on 1 January 2024 when it unfortunately lost the EV tax credit, making the vehicle fundamentally $7,500 more. A couple of months ago, Tesla released the long-awaited Model 3 Performance. This has the same great looks and added a 0-60 time of 2.9 seconds. And it also was eligible for the tax credit. So for a short while, it was actually cheaper than the mid-tier all-wheel drive long range. Now, if I was in the market for a sports car, this would have been my vehicle of choice. Any gas car that can match its performance would start in the hundreds of thousands of dollars and could go all the way up to the millions in the case of the Bugatti Chiron. But this vehicle was available for a mere $55,000. And with the tax credit, that lowered the price down to 47500 But I did not get it because, to be honest, I get in enough trouble with my 0-60 to 60 of 7 seconds. I really don't need the ability to get into even more trouble. If you are enjoying this video, please hit that like button down below. While you're down there, hitting the subscribe button would greatly support the channel. And, of course, don't forget to hit the bell notification icon so you don't miss any upcoming videos and stand by to the end of the video to hear my new subscriber shout outs. So if that's not what tempted me, what was? Well, just a few days ago, Tesla added a fourth tier to their Model 3 lineup. This is the single motor rear wheel drive long range. It has a starting price of 42,500, which isn't bad, but wait, there is more. It is also eligible for the tax credit making the out-the-door price $35,000, which makes it the cheapest Tesla available, even cheaper than the standard range Model 3. So when I saw this, my first thought was, oh, well, the acceleration must be absolute crap, but it isn't. It has a 0 to 60 time of 4.9 seconds, making it 0.9 seconds faster than the standard range and only 0.7 seconds slower than the dual model long range. Now this is really interesting because with the heavier battery and a single motor, the long range Model 3 should be slower than the standard range, but it isn't. So I haven't been able to find any reporting on the reason for this, 
but there is only one logical assumption, and that is that this single drive unit isn't a standard drive unit, but a performance drive unit, which means technically Tesla has mislabeled this car. If this is correct, this is actually not the single motor long range. It is the single motor performance. But wait, that must mean that this has shorter range because it has a performance drive unit and a heavy battery. Um, no, as a matter of fact, it has the longest range of any Model 3 available at a reported 363 miles. So just to recap, this is both the cheapest Model 3 available and the longest range Model 3 available. Not only that, but it is technically the cheapest EV in the United States. There are two that are technically ahead of it, with the second place choice being the Nissan Leaf, which starts at roughly 28,000 and gets half of the EV tax credit, which is 3,750. That means the Leaf would have a starting price of about $25,000. But unfortunately, this is only for a range of 149 miles. In order to get the Leaf that is most closely matched to the Model 3, you would have to get the Nissan Leaf SV, which starts at $36,000. Minus the tax credit would be about $33,000. And it still only has a range of 212 miles per charge. So this version of the Leaf would be just slightly cheaper than this Model 3 and would be 159 miles short of, on the range. Also, this doesn't include the fact that it doesn't have an active cooling system, all the Tesla's tech, and you would still be using Chatamo. Oof. And then we have the champion of low-cost EVs here in the United States, the Chevy Bolt, which has a starting price of $47,495 and is eligible for the whole tax credit, which means that you can get it for just under $20,000 starting. Make no mistake, this would absolutely be the most economical new EV available in the United States. Sadly, Chevy discontinued the Bolt, so the only way you'd be able to get a hold of a new one is if you could find a 2023 that was still stuck on some dealer lot somewhere. It's even been completely removed from their inventory on the website. So yeah, actually, I guess the new Model 3 is actually the cheapest EV here in the USA. Uh, especially if you put it in the category of vehicles with over 300 miles of range. So, back to my original point. If my i3 were totaled today, what would I replace it with? Well, with its improved looks, great range, and great price, I'm really thinking it would probably be this new tier of Model 3. But, tell me what you think. Do you like this new configuration? Would you buy it? Do you think it's the best Model 3 available? Um, go ahead and put that down in the comment section below. And while you're at it, hitting the like button, subscribe button, and bell notification no icon so you don't miss any future videos would absolutely help the channel. And stand by for my subscriber shout out. And here is a video YouTube thinks you're going to like. And now it's time for the subscriber shout outs. If you'd like your own shout out, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel and either make sure your name is visible or put in the comments down below that you subscribed. Casey Johnson, Dirk Boyce, G. Philip C, EVs and LSX.